Like on an iPhone, we have a dock on the iPad that will appear on the bottom of every home screen, whether the iPad is being held in landscape or portrait orientation. But the iPhone dock is limited to at most four icons and serves a pretty basic purpose. On an iPad, we can add several more app icons into the dock. This can be done with a simple tap hold, and then drag from any home screen or from app library. The size of the dock and the icons within it will automatically adjust as more and more app icons are added. Another major difference from the iPhone dock is that on an iPad, we can view the dock while we're in an app. So if I launch Safari and then slowly swipe up from the bottom edge of the display, the dock slides up. If you make a faster swipe up, this is going to return you to the home screen. So practicing a couple times will help. With the dock displayed over an app, we can then single tap on an app icon in the dock to switch to that app. Tap and drag on an icon in the dock to add it to slide over or split view multitasking. We'll go over these options in more detail coming up in the next lesson. In home screen and dock settings, we're able to choose to show an icon for app library along with suggested and recent apps. Let's start with activating this second option. Notice we now have a divider down in the dock. To the left of this divider are the app icons that I've added, and they will always appear here unless I remove them from the dock. To the right are recent and suggested apps. So if I start launching and closing some apps, they will appear in the dock on the right side of the divider as recents, allowing for a quick single tap to jump back into them. Now let's head back into settings and turn on the app library option. This adds a single icon that will remain on the far right side of the dock. Single tap on it to view app library. From any home screen or from the dock, we can tap and drag on an app icon to move that app into only app library. Select multiple icons to move them all into App Library and off of a home screen at once. So the dock is a big part of the iPad interface that can be utilized in a variety of ways depending on how you set it up. 